there, people of the internet, and hello again, I'm David Multi, and welcome back to my Zoo Tycoon 2 playthrough, building the World Zoo. In the last episodes, we built this exhibit here for, well, it was originally for the pikes, but uh, we soon figured out that the pikes actually don't work in this mod, unfortunately. They uh, do not know how to eat, and they move extremely slow, and they get sick all the time, and uh, all the visitors are angry because of it. So I changed it. Um... Currently, it is a North uh, a North Sea exhibit. It houses um, what are those things called again? I can't remember what they're called. Um, like those very flat fishes. I can't remember what they're called in English. Uh, eat these things. Uh, they have stingrays, as you can see over here. And we have harbor seals. Yeah, there. There's one. So, as you can see, we've got... Uh, oh, wow, what the hell are you doing? I didn't even know these things could do that. Oh, he's hunting on one of the fish. Oh god, did I break it? No, your eyes. Are you sleeping? So yeah, I uh, I changed this, uh, this into a North Sea exhibit instead. Now there are uh, I raised it a bit so that you can just so that you can see the, all the fish through here. As you can see, we got these are just regular fish that are in here that the other ones can hunt on. Um, we got uh, the stingray over there. Uh, we got the fucking uh, flatfish. <laughs> I forgot the name, but uh, there. And then um, we got the seals. The harbor seals. I could also add the uh, sturgeon in there because it's also in the same biome, but I haven't done that yet. Maybe I will eventually. Uh, and also, I made this uh, like this area up here so that you can also see them. Uh, so you can see the seals when they're upstairs. You see, there's someone already going over there. So, um... It's kind of, uh... So that you can see them from both angles. Looking to see if there's a donation box on here or not. Would be better if I, uh... Place one of these again. Like that. So yeah, you see, he's just looking at it from this way. Also, I apparently the uh, I forgot to put a filter in here. So let's put a filter in there. So yeah, uh, I, I turn changes into a North Sea uh, exhibit instead. All right, so for this episode, we're going to build another like combi exhibit with a whole bunch of creatures. Uh, which is uh, pretty funny, actually. We are going to build. You've already seen the title. You might, have, if you uh, know, it, if you know idea where this is, then uh, and that's understandable. But uh, we're building a Velua forest exhibit, and this is especially funny for me to build because not only is that a very specific nature reserve area in the Netherlands where I live, it is literally where I live. That is literally in my backyard. I literally live there. Um. So I know I've seen these creatures many times before, which is pretty funny. Here's the uh, the seals that I placed. All right. Anyway, it is in the mixed forest, all of them. So the creatures that are going to be in here are the red deer, the wild boar, the red squirrel, which is funny because I've actually seen a red squirrel today. Here's the Spanish lynx. Some of you guys said that I should add this one. I will, but of course not in this exhibit. Uh, it will be added, so don't worry. And here's of course also the European otter, which we will add. Um, oh yeah, and here, the European hedgehog. I will add this one as well, but not in this exhibit. It will be a uh, separate exhibit. Uh, here it is. Forgot the name of this thing as well in English, but... Um, 
<laughs> Microraptor. <laughs> Let's add a Microraptor in there. Yeah, these ones are the uh, creatures that I'm going to throw in here. And also the European Wildcat. <laughs> Apparently, uh, it's actually threatened for some reason. Didn't even know the, the war Wildcats in here. Anyway, so yeah, those are the creatures that are going to be in here. So, um... I will make a very tiny exhibit for the uh, hedgehog. Like uh, the path, the the path will go like along here and through there. So here, I guess we'll be uh, we got some room for the links, and also I want to, there's a white pelican that I want to add. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll find a very small area for the hedgehog and also a small area for the lemming, which also has to be added. And then also it has to be the bird area over there. I guess the pelican will go there because it's a bird, together with the uh, lima gyre. Uh, and a raven. This is a uh, dinosaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, enough uh, talking. I will be building uh, the uh, Velua Forest exhibit. So um, I'll shut up and I'll see you guys on the other side. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you. First of all, let me take just a moment to thank you for allowing me back into your homes. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your oil paints and paint along with us each week. Let's go over to the canvas here and let's get started. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe. I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. You can almost paint with anything. All you have to do is practice. There are no limits here. By believing here, this is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Cause you can do it. Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Make love to the canvas. Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Push it. Push it. Caress it. Very gentle. Very gentle. Grab it. Lift it. Fluff it. You can go on and on and on. Back and forth, back and forth, and forth. Layer after layer after layer. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. This is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. You can do it. Relax, relax, let it flow, think like water, think like water, think like water. Relax, let it flow, you can go on and on and on. We don't make mistakes, mistakes. We just have happy accidents. You can do anything that you want to do. Total power, sing along, have a good time. This is your world, you're the creator, find freedom on this canvas, believe that you can do it, cause you can do it, cause you can do it, you can do it, I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint, I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart, I believe, I believe, Every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart.
right then, so here we are. Uh, the end results of uh, this. <laughs> uh, I think it looks very cool. If you ask me, I think it looks very cool. Um, yeah, at the beginning uh, I was... Uh, I wanted to uh, place uh, a river throughout it. But then I thought, yeah, there are barely any rivers here. There are only like a couple small creeks through it that go through here. But not any like actual rivers, so... I kind of uh, abandoned that idea, but I thought I could also like have like a, a spring here. I already had this, the uh, rock formation, and then I thought I could put this here and then connect it up a bit, and then uh, I think it works. And uh, these guys uh, seem to enjoy it. So I think it looks very cool. This uh, exhibit. Yeah. Uh, Excuse the lag, but I'm re rendering a video in the background. And also, the game will eventually start to lag a lot once uh, I build a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, look at that. They all seem to be very happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I really like, I kind of like try to hide the, uh, the zoo wall bit here. I didn't do everything, every part, but... Uh, most of the stuff uh, I think looks is pretty covered up. Uh, I tried to hide uh, the uh, like hide what's in here a bit by extending the wall like this, so you can see like a big wall with all the trees behind it, kind of like to tempt them to actually continue over here, and then here you would have uh, you would actually be able to see through. You actually have the uh, the window. So there we go, we got uh, the wild boars uh, walking around. Actually, have the the, <laughs> uh, the red squirrels. Oh, look at how cute he is. So, uh, a whole bunch of pe creatures that actually live very close by. <laughs> and also, you can see the fucking wild boars during the day now, because usually you only see these guys at night. I don't know what this squirrels are doing. There's the other squirrel. Oh. Oh, fuck me. He's just... Oh, he's going to rest in the house. Drinking water. I will put... I forgot to put some of these things around. Especially for these uh, scrolls, I think that would be nice. <laughs> the other one's lying in there. And here are the... Uh, <laughs> the birds. I haven't really seen them fly around yet. I don't even know if this is one, or one word or not, but... Alright, so where is uh, our friend? It's so weird that some of the m them don't even have a, a name. Here you go. I guess it's two words. That's whatever. <laughs> that brush is bigger than the bird. <laughs> also, they kind of like to walk around like retards instead of actually doing something <laughs> if you just not if you're not careful you could fucking break that thing uh, it flew a bit but uh oh look at that it's in the tree i didn't even know they could do that oh look at that that looks so cool 
I have to make a picture of that. And then, I mean, of course, it would be logical that the squirrels would, would get in the tree, but I didn't know that it was actually in the game that they could do that. That is so cool. Wow. He sounds more like a fucking dinosaur than an actually actual, actual tiny bird. Well, they're all very happy. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I actually saw a red squirrel today. On the tree. <laughs> and these uh, deer, you can barely see them ever. Usually, uh, I've actually seen them before. It's pretty funny, but you kind of can barely get a good glimpse from them because they just uh, run. It's, they run as fast as they can when they spot you, usually. Oh, I think you're stuck. Whoa, did you see that? He ran. He was jumping. Oh, look at him. He's like running or galloping or whatever. What the hell? Yeah, that. Just the way that the deers run. Don't know how you call that. Running, galloping, charging. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny that you can hear the uh, these birds uh, s scream all the time. There's also a raven that you can. Uh... There's a squirrel. Oh, that looks so cool. Why are you pissed off? Oh, there's no uh, treats. Well, you need to go a bit back then. Anyway, yeah, so this is the uh, Fable Forest exhibit. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny to build this because, uh, as I said, this is basically what my backyard looks like. Well, not really, of course, because I don't actually live in the middle of in the middle of a forest in the middle of nowhere. But uh, um, like within 15 minutes, I can be here. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. That's uh, yeah, it's pretty funny that I made that. That, that, that that's in the zoo, basically. Uh, D Dutch stuff as well. Also, this north. This is the North Sea. This is turning to be more uh, Dutch um, continent instead of Europe. But yeah, uh, there will be a whole bunch of other creatures that I will add uh, in the Europe area. Of course, here the uh, Spanish lynx, as uh, suggested by you guys, it will be added. So don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, the European hedgehog will be added. Um, yeah, this one, the European otter. Uh, perhaps that European white cat as well. Um, then here we got the Lemmergeier, I believe it's called. Um, will be added in the birdhouse as lo uh, along the... Where is it? There it is, white pelican. Just make it like an aviary area where they can uh, be added. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, tsk, Whoops. Oh. You stay there. And wait until I build that aviary. Whoops. Um. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, here a bat. We could also add that thing. Here we got a red fox, which we also can add. Hair. This bird, which will also be in the aviary, I guess. This thing doesn't really seem like it works. Wild hamster. Oh yeah, here the Syrian bear. This thing. <laughs> Oh, another bird for the birdhouse. And lizards that we can add. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I uh, can and will add here for the uh, European part. If there is anything in here, or if you, you know of something else, then you can obviously place it in the comment section below. 
I guess someone is stuck. Oh no, they just like to do that. And there's bird poop over there. They just like to scream. That's actually true because they do that all the time here. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you almost enjoyed the video. Uh, click the like button if you did. Subscribe to be part of the Roman Army so you never miss any of my videos. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button up here over the left of here. Or subscribe to underneath the video. See you later, Romans. Ave.